reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our lesson today on introduction to addition and subtraction. Now, when we are looking at the introduction to addition and subtraction, it is a good foundation for you to be able to understand uh, the addition and subtraction in N3. Now, let us start by looking at the first example given. In this example, what we are given is we are supposed to add 5 over 2 plus 1 over 7. So now, remember, the 2 is called, on top is called the numerator, and the 5 at the bottom is called the denominator. So now, when we are adding, I'm going to show you one universal way that you can always add or subtract, whether it is variables or it is numbers. Now, I can first maybe use a calculator. Let me take my calculator. If I can take my calculator and add these two numbers, uh, the first one is five, 2 over 5. I'm adding with 1 over 7. Now, what am I getting? I'm getting 19 over 35. If I can write that on this side, I got... 19 over 35 and then also on this side if I can subtract this two 5 over 6 5 6 over 5 and I'm subtracting 1 over 3 is giving me 13 over 15 so if I can have that. Now let me prove or let me work towards the two answers that I'm given in this case. So in the first one, I must get 19 over 35. And in the second one, I must, must get 13 over 15. So how do we go about answering this given problem? So the first thing that you have to identify, we are going to look at our denominators, which is the 5 and the 7. So if I can write my 5 in brackets and write my 7 in brackets and then now what i'm going to say is 5 into this 5 and 7 so it's like i've got my 5 my 7 and then i'm taking this 5 and i'm dividing by 5 so you can see that the 5 will cancel remaining with the 7 so in this case i'm going to have the 7 here then that 7, I'm going to multiply it by 2. And then the in between there is a plus. I do the same thing. The 7 will get into 5 and 7. The 7 will cancel remaining with the 5. And the 5 will multiply the top, which is that 1. And then if I continue, now 7 times 2, I get a 14. Plus 5 times 1 is a 5 over 5 times 7 is a 35 and then this can become then 14 plus 5 is 19 over 35 so this is the same answer that i obtained with my calculator again using the same concept on the negative where i'm subtracting again i can take my 5 i can take my 3 and then I divide. Now 5 into 5 and 3. The 3 will remain because the 5 will cancel. Then you multiply the top by 6. Minus 3 into 5 and 3. The 3 will cancel remaining with the 5 and the 1. If this continues, 3 times 6. You got your 18. Minus 5 times 1 which is 5. Over 15. And then... Now, if you subtract 18 minus 5, you get your 13 over 15. So, this is the same answer that I obtained from with my calculator. So, it means it is also correct. Now, using the same concept, I can now add and subtract variables or the unknowns, whether it's x or x plus 1. 
now using the same concept that I was using if I can if I'm supposed to add or subtract in this case so I have got equal to I take my x and I take my x plus 1 you can even put the x in brackets it's still fine and then you say all over so in this case you are saying now the first x will be dividing the x and the x plus 1 so you can see when you cancel that the x plus 1 will remain so in this case it will now you are going to have the x plus 1 multiplying the 2 so it's always good to start with the number because it's a um, it's in brackets you will have 2 x plus 1 minus now the second one you have got x plus 1 x x plus 1 and then what is dividing now it is x plus 1 so if you cancel that you remain with an x so you'll have 1 times the x if this is continuing now you have to open up the bracket of 2 we multiply there and the 2 will multiply there so what you're going to have you're going to have 2x plus 2 minus 1x all over x x plus 1 which is equal to if you collect the like terms you have got 2x minus 1x plus 2 over x and it's x plus 1 and if this continues now 2x minus 1x you have got x plus 2 all over x and x plus 1 so this is what we mean by addition and subtraction of fractions it doesn't matter whether you are working with numbers or you're working with variables but the concept is still the same as i was using when i was working with numbers now we've come to the end of our lesson i'll encourage you to have more problems which are similar so that you can get more practice thank you for help that I thought I needed Cause rich enough, rich enough is the proof of